Hi, I decided to do a part two on appearance. I don't know, that other video was really difficult for me to watch. Just so many levels of my own um, neurotic involvement in, in appearance issues. But I would say that anybody, I challenge you to do a video blog of yourself when you look really crappy and see if it isn't uh, fodder for you to do some work. Anyway, that being said, I left out some points. Let me see if I can uh, ramble about them. One is the whole issue of appearance being higher uh, priority for someone with an eating disorder. So I blog all the time about having an eating disorder. What do I mean? Well, I have never been anorexic. You can probably tell that. I've never been bulimic in the classic vomiting style. I have been something that I would call uh, bulimorexic in college, which is um, eating a lot, but then um, also restricting through kind of, you know, cutting down on calories, so back and forth. It's, um, but really not meeting the criteria for either of those disorders. I'm really more of a binge eater, so there have been times in my life where I've been quite obese, and I can look in the mirror um, at size 8 pants and at size 18 pants and I look the same so obviously I have some body image issues to work through the other thing about um, body image though that I wanted to mention was that I actually am aware even though I'm aging and I'm highly critical of you know the laugh lines and the crow's feet and um, yes I do still have acne today by the way, I think that that's from uh, a th thyroid medication that I started, so we're going to get that worked out. But even though um, I'm critical of my appearance many times, I also am aware that I'm attractive. I mean, I wouldn't take that many pictures of myself if I wasn't obsessed with, ooh, look, these pictures look better than these ones. If you take a quantity of pictures, you will find a few that look better. The other thing that I've discovered by having a long-term um, obsession with taking digital portraits is if you look right into the lens and you treat it like you are looking at someone that you love, that you care about, or you think about the person who is going to see the picture, then you get much better um, emotional results in the picture. I'm not saying by any means that I'm a good photographer, but um, I have been told I'm photogenic. But one neurotic fear I have about that is I actually think I probably look better in, um, in stills than I do in real life. That's part of why I think I'm doing video blogging as well, is to like break through this idea that my worth is based on my appearance, because it's not. So um, that's why I did the, the previous post where I really didn't look that good. Um, that's not what my worth comes from. So, that uh, being said, there's one final point, and of course, um, being the absent-minded professor that I am, it's, um, it's escaping me, so I will come back to it. But you, you know what I'm saying is beauty is from inside and expressed outwardly and should have some purpose of conveying something towards um, people's inspiration and growth. Um, Alright, so I'm going to end that this uh, little rambling on um, appearance there. Thank you for listening.